This is episode 68 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, December 6th, 2021. In today's show, Chris, Charlie, and Steve deep dive into four craft beers from Top Lane Goliath, a pale ale, a hazy double IPA, a coffee stout, and a pastry stout. This is the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Sorry, just fill it, finishing up a swaller of beer. Mm. We got tech guy, Steve. Yep, we're starting early. Start, yeah. Starting a little early. Pre-game. Charlie Charlie came through with uh, with a pregame beer today. It's amazing. Yes. So the uh, today, guys, uh, we're gonna we're gonna tackle one of our favorite breweries, uh, Toppling Life. Yay! So the uh, our beers, uh, we got the pseudo Sioux, which we've which we've had a few times. King Sioux on tap. King yes, Sioux, the first on tap beer. It's so lights the, out. Yeah, phenomenal on tap. We've uh, it's the first beer we've actually poured uh, draft beer. Yeah, that well, we poured because of COVID. And then we got a couple of uh, we got a couple of uh, canny stouts. Uh, so let's uh, let's get right started here, Charlie. What's we're going uh, to jump into the pseudo or King Sioux because. We have it draft, and it's in the glass, so we might as well chug a lug there. But we're going to also discuss this uh, uh, pseudo suit, which is the original. We're going to pour into this so that we can uh, kind of challenge uh, the two beers together. So the uh, the pseudo suit is a citrus, citra hopped pale ale. Uh, it's a mild bitterness, a delicate body. Um. Yeah, it's one of my favorite. Uh, it's probably pale one ales. of the best pale ales I've ever had. So I mean, Come, go from there. But, comes in at uh, five point eight percent, whereas the King Sioux, uh, the other beer that 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 we have on tap today, uh, is a, a double hazy IPA. See, I never knew it was called a hazy because it doesn't say that on the can. Yeah, they say uh, double New England is okay. what it, or like it comes it. across the hazy IPA, citra hopped. Uh, Juicy combination, mango, oranges, pineapple flavors. I of, love uh, this. I grapefruit or almost. When I heard uh, Bottle Craft had a keg or had access to a keg, that's when my uh, spidey senses jumped up. <laughs> and uh, I begged him to, uh, I begged old Gene to grab one for me. And lo and behold, he did. So we're good to go. Where, which uh, Bottle Craft? Uh, the one in North Park. Uh, it's pretty much the only one I go to, other than Liberty Station every now and then, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm kind of familiar with North Park. Worst thing about North Park is not a whole lot of parking right there. So you got to kind of drive around a little bit, unless you want to park in the parking structure across the street, which is okay too. But uh, I usually find a spot, but it's, it's like around the corner. And it's pretty good beers. They have beers on tap there if anybody's interested in going there and drinking them. So You know, you can pour yourself a beer. And uh, shop through the, the rest That's of the store. That's always nice. It's right. not a big store. And plus, they got uh, uh, the cheese place. Uh, in Venissimo. Venissimo. There, so there's a little cheese shop. You can get a cheese plate. Mm. You can sit there. You know, pre-COVID, you know, they they had four tables in the back. Now they have tables out front. Mm-hmm. So you can sit in the tables out front. You can get yourself some, a cheese plate. Get yourself a pour yourself a beer. You can pull something off the shelf. Play it. Pay a small corkage. You can pop it right there. Yeah. Mm. Like if you just want to have a an IPA. Like you can go buy a can off the shelf for five ninety nine or whatever. Pay the the seventy five or a dollar fifty seventy five cent or dollar fifty corkage, and uh, sit on the sidewalk and drink it right outside. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's a great deal. It's f- pretty cool. I mean, yeah. and they have this. They used to have this thing called the scrape, and it's like this little uh, candle heated uh, tin that they put cheese in mm-hmm. and then they give you crackers and bread mm-hmm. and it melts the cheese uh, and you can kind of just scrape it up that and eat sounds it. terrible it's fantastic <laughs> <laughs> yeah christy, you, christy wouldn't like that no right. nobody does no. that's why it's it's forbidden most <laughs> yeah. of the time but uh yeah it's it's a real wing digger let me tell you it's they've got some stuff in there that'll knock your socks off cheese wise not a, not to mention all the beer that they have and whiskey and wine and everything else mm. you want so it's Probably my favorite place to go because uh, I enjoy rummaging through there, and then I can get a beer off. Do you the, think it's the biggest bottle craft? No, it is not by far. It's probably the smallest one. Yeah, yeah. Because um, the the one down in Little Italy is probably twice that size. Oh, okay. And the one in uh, uh, the one they moved to Oceanside. The one in Liberty Station is 
huge compared to that. Okay. I mean, it's because you you got that whole right. room there. It sounds a lot like the space I was in. And then the Sorrento Valley one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Except not very big space. Oh, the, the Liberty Station one, yeah. I think, sounds like the one that you had. Yeah. yeah. No, the one in Long Beach didn't oh. have a lot of space. Oh, okay. For, for beers that you could sell. Oh, oh. They, they have a good, they have, like, there's a, quite a bit, quite a few coolers. Like, you come uh -huh. in, right, yeah. there's, like, They only coolers. had one cooler at the... Oh, they oh, had coolers. Beach. This goes down and across. Yeah, the all back. the way, the, the back side is all beer coolers. Okay. They have it broke up into different styles, yeah, hoppy. Like, 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 like Liberty Station. Yeah, exactly. Very and similar. then the whole center is, uh, you know, it's a couple of shelves. They, they have both sides. It's probably 20 feet of yeah. beer on both sides. It sounds a lot like the one that they closed in... Um, in uh, Solana Beach. Oh, did that one close? That, they, moved it, they moved that one. That went up north to Ocean's Ocean, yeah. I was kind of thought it was a little close right there, right there where it Don't was. Don't they that have was, one in Sorrento Valley? That closed. Yeah. They used to have a Sorrento Valley one yeah. as well. Did that close as mm -hmm. well? It did. Wow. So yeah. Sorrento Valley and Solano Beach closed. They moved north. Yeah. But there's like three in LA now. Or two. I think the Solano, the Sorrento Valley one seemed to be just because of COVID. I think the other one was more because they had a bigger space. Okay. And they could, do more stuff but i haven't i've just only i've only seen the online like 3d rendering of the okay. ocean side space yeah. which look like bigger mm -hmm. hey did you guys uh do you guys have any decent beers this week yeah i threw probably down, threw down some pbr did you have a little pbr for charlie i got it here i was sitting in here for pastor mm -hmm. uh ferguson and yeah. you know he's on deployment so i'm yeah. gonna have to drink yeah. his beer until he yeah. gets back otherwise the company's gonna fall apart yeah mm -hmm. they, pretty they much they won't have. They anymore. won't. They won't. Re they won't recover. Yeah, they won't. <laughs> we all have to. We all have to pull it. Somebody has to drink that yeah. beer. <laughs> I'm sending a, a four pack of. Guess what you're getting? <laughs> home with you guys. So. Uh, um, no, I'm gonna go with that that great beer you gave me, Charlie. The Army of the Kind of Deadish from North Park. Yeah. West Coast. I think that IPA. was Chris that brought. Oh, Chris. You that. Okay. Double dry hopped West Coast double IPA. My God, that was pretty tasty, pretty huh? Good. That is a good beer. But it goes back to just what we've been saying in general. North Park just yeah, seems to be knocking, <laughs> knocking out of the park. You could, you could just roll it out on the sidewalk and it's going to be good. Doesn't matter. Yeah. They're just putting out just bangers every time. Yeah. I um, <clears throat> I had a uh, a Great Notion uh, baked, uh, the the cherry baked. So, like, uh, mm. I mean, it was phenomenal. Like a little cherry pie, mm -hmm. a little dessert beer. Well, that's why I'm interested in these two beers because, I mean, we don't usually get these stouts from mm. Toppling Goliath. I mean, they're rare. Certainly, yeah. The, the barrel-aged beers are very, very difficult to get uh, from them, for mm. sure. So, anyways, do you want me to elaborate on my uh, $300 lunch, $350 lunch from uh, <laughs> Bottlecraft? Oh, please. So, I pull in there, and I'm texting Chris, hey, they've got lunch which is the main beer company, which is a beer, uh, mm. a pale ale that mm. they have. It's called Lunch. Right. And I'm sitting in there, look, I'm having lunch with lunch. It's hilarious. Ha, ha, ha. I go out, and I see my vehicle being towed away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So I have to call an Uber, drive down there. I, I beat them there <laughs> to their wrecking yard or whatever it is, the holding <laughs> yard. Yeah. And it still cost me three. I mean, it was seriously in there for 10 minutes. Mm. And... It's just the stupidest thing in the world. I think I think towing companies should be banned, one hundred percent. Yep. Just that's yeah. how it is. So it cost me three hundred fifty bucks to have lunch with lunch. You know, if you don't respond in thirty days, they can sell your car. Yeah, I know yeah. that. Well, I know I, I only learned that recently because a friend of mine didn't respond. They didn't. Re they didn't. They they sent messages mail to his house, but he was in Europe, so he never read. The person who was staying at his house never looked through his mail. What was the car? It was a. Like a Jeep um, Cherokee or something mm. like that. Night, I an mean, older vehicle, or like I mean, it's just sort of newer, not not brand new, but it paid off. Wow, right. And so he just lost so he his didn't vehicle. have a lien, so that was the big thing. Like if he had a, if he hadn't paid it off, right, then it, they wouldn't they be wouldn't able, to, able sell to sell it. But since he had paid it off, and it was on the side, the street that he had he had been to Europe twice. The first time nothing happened, and the second time they, <laughs> hauled, it they hauled it away, and then. And then That's came back home terrible. and he's like, oh, my car's gone. Where's it? It's terrible. Right. Looking through your mail. I mean, here's the deal, though. I mean, uh, we're not going to get into this, you know, after sure. this, it's done. But uh, <laughs> I got to tell you this part. You know, I was able to afford that yeah. $350 right off the top. I had a credit card. There's a lot of people that couldn't. Yeah, yeah. 
No, for yeah. sure. They couldn't. Yeah. And you know what? It only builds on that. No, yeah, yeah it's crazy. Yeah. That's Aiden, 15 Aiden found minutes. out how expensive that was once. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or you but, did. Hey, so uh, what do you guys think of these these IPAs? The okay. or the the, the sitch, uh, uh, the pseudo. The as pseudo it is. is legit. Yeah. We know that. We've known it. It's just mm. so doggone good. Yeah. Of a hazy pale ale. Wow. Um, it's, it's not really even hazy. Is well, it? it's certain. Sure, sure it is. It. Like yeah, you look at that compared to you can't see through it. All right, doggone it, Chris. You're right again. Made a liar. Not a lot of the big smell though. No, there's not. It has that citra hop. It's just a great uh, super, super easy thing. drinker. Really, uh, really soft. And the can art is legit. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Who a purple. Like, and, it's not Barney on the cover. Yeah. Who doesn't like a dinosaur? Yeah, that that's a T Rex baby. No, that's uh, that's phenomenal. Mm. I'm excited mm. to see it here in town. And King Sue is just a notch above it, in my personal opinion. That uh, that King Sue. Mm. Definitely has a great smell. It's nice to get a nice big pour of a uh, yeah, of a beer while we're in. We got this. more of that. Usually we have a, a sixteen ounce beer that me and you get to split the final <laughs> three ounces of. <laughs> it's not a bad gig if you yeah. can get it. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Yeah, we got to keep Chris under the under the radar. He's yeah, or Steve. I mean, oh, he's man. Mm. Don't want him sending them out of here stumbling. Oh, that hazy. They're both so yeah, dark. Yeah. Good. That's what that's what I like about this brewing company mm -hmm. they i mean they don't have too many misses a lot of hits and not too many strikes you know super interesting super super tasty on both these beers like i said i fell in love with uh pseudo Sue when uh chris brought it out from uh when you, you used to drove down there didn't you minnesota yeah we used to be able to get it in minnesota it was difficult to get a hold of um and, but yeah it would uh you could get four packs back in the day or or no, it was bottles. It was bottles. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was even better. Yeah. Yep. But uh, yeah, we he brought some out, and I was like, oh my gosh, absolutely my favorite pale ale ever. I mean, this, you know, it just lights out. Do we and know if they do shipping and stuff? I don't they think do they not. Do. No, it's all, uh, and then, you know, they're, you can get a lot of their brew, uh, beer through Minnesota. They're, they're in a lot of states now mm -hmm. uh, throughout the United well, States. Well, I see this all the time. That's yep. at Valley Farms. Yeah, yeah, Valley Farms. Yeah. Yep, so Fraser that'll show Farms. up. King Sue is part of their like their core lineup. Mm -hmm. So they every their... once in a while they'll have four packs of King Sue mm -hmm. down there. Occasionally, you gotta look. Right. I mean, this four pack was on the bottom of shelf of the fridge. Yep. And he walked in there and he didn't see it, and Danny didn't see it, and I'm talking to him on the phone. And I said, No, 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 it's right there. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I was in there this afternoon. Uh, it hit a whole bunch behind some milk cartons. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So anyway, I said you gotta move the paps to get to it. <laughs> right. <laughs> but no, it's it's gosh, it's such a good beer. And and the, everybody likes it. Everybody that tries it thinks it's amazing, in my opinion. If you like yeah, if you like hazy IPAs or you like IPAs, yeah. You know, you like beer. Like I'd say those two. They, uh, this is like I mean, if this was local here in San Diego, this would be people's. It's like a. It's it would be like sculpin popular mm -hmm. here. Yeah, that was. Uh, it was ridiculously. Uh, that was the first beer I think I remember in Minnesota really popping off and being yeah. difficult to get a hold of. Mm -hmm. But I'm. I think I like the King Sue more than I like the Pseudo Sue, which is yeah. Um, only because it's a lot hazier, and it tastes. It's the punch is a lot more powerful on the flavor. What do you guys think of the fire skulls and money one? I think I've only had it one mm -hmm. time. I'm just looking at the options for yep. it an IPA. Yeah, yeah. I, I we've had that, and it wasn't. I mean, it was a good IPA, but that was. I mean, mm -hmm. not on this level. It's they, like a yeah, I think it's a double that. IPA. Okay, and then they have Pompeii, which is an Indian pale ale. Yep. Um, yeah. I didn't care for the. Oh, uh, the Pompeii is good. Um. But not as good. Uh, mm -hmm. It's like an American IPA, right? And then the Golden Nugget is the other IPA on here. Yeah, not a not a huge fan of the Golden mm. Nugget. Dorothy's Log. I had it who? one time. Mm. Dorothy's who? Dorothy's Lager. Um, I drink a lager. Yeah, I didn't think you know the. I, I bought it one time when I wasn't really big into. Um, I bought everything I could find from Top and Goliath, right. right? Like I bought a porter. I bought a bunch bunch of other stuff because I. I couldn't find like I so I I bought brought golden nugget back. I'm trying to think what else there would have been. I think been. we liked all those. Yeah, no, they were all right, but they weren't like it wasn't pseudo sue at the time. Like that mm -hmm. fresh pseudo sue yeah. with um, yeah. 
You know, what? it just wasn't that. You know, now they were they great do, beers. Now they do the museum version or something, isn't there? A, they do a bunch of different renditions of the of pseudo. It's like pseudo. a premium <laughs> can or something. Yeah, I'm what looking at. i um, for folks who are wondering what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the keg um, wrap wrap, and um, there's also a, a, a thing at the bottom with an empty thing where you can write on it. I wonder what those would be. Oh, sure, yeah, <laughs> just like anything, like yeah, you yeah. know, maple morning yeah, or yeah, whatever. Or you know, if yeah, you're in town. You could probably get. Well, something. I had that thing sitting in the cooler, mm -hmm. the ice box there, and it soggied up. But mm -hmm. these are both stickers oh, on both sides, yeah, so I dried stickers, them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna put one of those on my rig. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, they did a lot of a uh, lot of different. You know, so they pseudo sue double dry hop, pseudo sue galaxy dry hop, mosaic oh, dry yeah, hopped. Yeah. Um, they've, they've done, uh, pseudo sue with Citra and Zythos, uh, Safari pseudo sue, field, Simcoe Citra. Field edition or something. Yeah. Like there's, uh, the field museum. That's, field and that's, museum. that's the, uh, Sue is the dinosaur in, mm -hmm. the, uh, the field museum. Okay. So it's, uh, the official beer of the Chicago field museum. You heard about that, right? No. And the Tell Sue me. is the T-Rex that they found in Iowa. Oh, and they named this beer after. That is amazing. Yeah. That. So that's why the big T-Rex is yeah, on right. there and everything. All right. And that was a, gosh, find that out in the middle of a field. Hey, how about a $5 million skull? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they're. Um, that's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah. So there's old Sue right there. Mm. Right. Wow. Like right when you walk in, yeah. she's like right there in the right. the center Delicious. of the, the big. Um, huh. Yeah. It's super cool. That's how a many, cool museum. How many T-Rexes do you think we have? In the museum. I don't know. Yeah. There's a couple, um, a couple but, it, but it probably cross continents, too. Right? Yeah. So there's, you know, the big thing with, like, a dinosaur, you know, I, not that I know a whole lot uh, of, of dinosaurs, but um, I actually have a relative that they um, they found. They live in, in uh, South Dakota, and they found on their land, they live right outside the Black Hills, uh, and they found years ago, um, some people came knocking at the door, and they were looking for, they were, like, some archaeology students or whatever, whoever the pale whatever they are. Yeah. Um, Archaeology. Yeah, and she was like, hey, I found some bones like in this dry riverbed, right? It was this old dry riverbed. So they, um, like six hours later, these guys come up to the door and they had found, like they were like, oh, here's a bone. So they like, you know, started like feathering this stuff off and digging through there. And they had found, um, over the course of the next couple of weeks, they uncovered six feet of like the Plotticus neck bone, oh. right? So they thought it was like going to be this great find, right? It was like six feet of neck bone that was like fully whole, right? right? And then they, they were like, wow, this is an amazing find. Um, and then it turned out like it had, you know, like the rest of it, when they, when they got to digging further to the Washed body, like away. it was all gone. Yeah, right. Yeah. So they had a great like neck, right. <laughs> <laughs> but then nothing, nothing else. else, but they, um, <laughs> but it is crazy. Cause there, there was like a lot of like security and stuff at the site, like as they were uncovering it, cause it's yeah. like millions of dollars, right. Yeah, they, um, for sure. Um, well, this, yeah, thing, they just went, donated it to this thing went round and round in court for quite a few years, you know, with the Sioux project and, uh, mm. big, Big money and, and museums mm -hmm. and, you know, government and, yeah. you know, pride, I'm sure. But mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a cool little homage. That's a great, great story. Wow. Super, no super tasty beer and a super mm -hmm. good King Sioux I'll have beer. to go home and tell Spencer. Yeah, he'll dig that. <laughs> Get <laughs> yeah. it? Dig that. <laughs> so, Charlie, what's, uh, what's up with these stouts? So there's uh... – We got a little uh, – we got a little, uh, what is it, Schmores, Schmores Pastry Stout. Mm. I'm sorry, I had to drink that last Sioux for so we're this, get into um, this one. This stout we have, uh, this is from the Fresh, fresh Batch series, uh, it's S'mores. Uh, the dream of the 90s is alive in Decora. Time to preheat your oven for a bagel sized pizza and pull out your jazziest cups. The 90s are back and fresher than ever. Our S'mores version of Fresh Batch stokes the fire with. Notes of toasted marshmallow, Holy melted milk chocolate, that friggin' good, man. Squished between grams. If it crackers. tastes anything like it smells, we're in trouble. Because hey, don't pour any more. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I'm sorry, can. we're out. Yeah, we're fresh. We're gone. Fresh so this uh, looks like their fresh batch series wow. um, makes the rounds and is able to be kind of kind of purchased. And, and they actually have this here locally in San Diego. Uh, Obviously, on the Valley I Farms. Wow. We pulled it out. Of, I saw another one down there today. So really? everybody run down there and buy it. Yeah, I saw one the of those. same camp? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw it the other day. I've had this for a couple of days. Wow. Woo! Yeah. Man, it smells good, dude. Let me tell you. Mm. I mean, if this one is even better than that, I'm going to be blown away by that one. 
I guess we will take a whiff of that. Out. Take a whiff of that. Gosh, you left oh. me too much, Charlie. Oh my goodness! Because Steve grabbed a glass or the yeah, sm- can real quick. Wow, that smells really, really good. Lots of chocolate on the nose. Um, but like a different type of chocolate. Yeah, like because the last show that other one. Was okay. Super chocolatey, dude. Yeah, it's legit on the taste too. It's pretty good. Oh my gosh, this is right up there with that one we had last night or last time last week. Super thick. It tastes like. Oh. Wow. Tastes like marshmallows and schmores. Yeah, a lot of marshmallows. Schmores. Oh, good night, brother. Wow, that is pretty good. Man, I'm going to go get that other deck on can. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving before you do. <laughs> no, I'll make a call down. Hey, cat, <laughs> uh, kind of store that one in the back room for me. Mm. So that's a, that's a pretty tasty beer. Dude, that is awesome. That is really good. I like that it's in a little 16 ounce can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, there you go. That's the, the uh, thing. I mean, if you if you're drinking out of a can, 16 ounces, that's three people right there. Yeah, certainly a lot of uh, marshmallow and chocolate oh, on there. Wow, like I said, I love that just mm. caramely smell almost. I said it last week when we were talking about that uh, caramel. It smelled like caramel corn. <clears throat> and this is right up there. Gosh, dog it, that's good. No lactose. Thank goodness. It's not lacking in lactose. No. Mm. What's the ABV on that big boy? I don't know. It's, it's got to be in the 10, 10 somewhere. 10 or 11, 12. A 10%. Woo! A 10 percenter. We didn't come to watch on this one. Woo! Fresh Bast series. That is awesome. Wow. I'm glad. You know what? I'm even more impressed with them now with that. So yeah, is there, that there more, can. Is there more in the Fresh Batch series? Yeah. Dude, they um, should have put these in bottles too, man. Big 22s. That's a share er mm. Steve, I can honestly say I've never seen you pour more than, more in your glass after the first It's the only day. thing I see in the Fresh Batch series. Well, that last, the last pair I did from last show. Mm. That was so good. Man, oh, man. That is lights out. Um, yeah, only thing I see in the Fresh Batch series from them. But no, that is pretty tasty. Jeez. That's certainly. Uh, I like this idea of series. I saw another thing from Sierra Nevada where they're doing a FOMO series. Yeah. So what are they putting in? Not, not missing out. Sort of yeah. Thing. Yeah. So it was a, it's in a more of an IPA. Okay. They, they, they just released it. So, but I'm yeah. seeing you know also Stones been doing their small batch. Mm. I think that's the um, uh, the bigger the bigger people are following. The, the smaller groups, right? Yeah, because yeah, they, you know, they create like yeah, you look at the like the FOMO, right? Yeah. Like in the, um, and I think uh, you know, I probably have a lot of stouts in my uh, refrigerator from that. But like, you know, there there's a, a brewery in Minnesota that had one of my favorite beers years ago, but mm-hmm. they just stuck with like their core five beers, and they were which which, which brewery? Um, the loop. Uh, uh, let me tell you. <laughs> so it's one of your favorites. The, <laughs> lupulin. Um, well, the only Marshall? reason I bring that up is that it's not Ben. Uh, not Ben Paddle. Yeah, I, the only reason I bring that up is Ben Paddle won some awards in Minnesota. They, they did. Were, they yeah, did great, huh? Yeah. But it's kind of interesting when you look at that whole Minnesota Brewing Guild. You know, yeah. These guys are the. Um, these guys are part of it. You yeah. Know, they're not. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not just. You know, even though they're in Iowa, they're in the Minnesota. Yeah, but they're close enough. Yeah. So, Lupulin is the name yeah, of the, yeah, yeah, the brewery. Yeah, Have so you heard of them? Yeah. Okay. Well, I looked through all the breweries to see yeah. which ones we had had. And, oh, okay. And literally all the breweries that are in Minnesota, yeah. there's probably five that we've tried. Yeah, we haven't, tra- like, haven't tried I mean, a whole lot. There is a ton oh, of yeah. breweries. Well, don't they have the, like a Finger Lakes uh, tour you can do up there? Uh, in Michigan, they do it. Uh, uh, yeah, they do in the Fingers. Like, the, I think, is Michigan the Fingers? Yeah. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so, Luke went with Hoobie. I'm from Ohio. I think what was the I name know? of it. <laughs> and they um, they made just a phenomenal IPA, but they didn't change. Like, mm-hmm. when everybody else was making different mm-hmm. beers, and they're like, oh, I can get Hooey like, every day at the yeah. beer store or whatever. Wow. I think is what But happens. it goes back to the, I was thinking it goes back to the <laughs> San Diego county thing you know we're looking at all these breweries that are here right and then there's all these breweries in minnesota all over the state yeah 100 plus right and then and we've only tried five or so a handful um, just a couple because i only realized it by looking at the logos right because yeah because i i mean that's the thing i do when i build the youtube thing is it's got the logos of the breweries on there so i have that in my head yeah so i can scan through and say oh i've never seen that logo sure right? 
Yeah, they, um, I mean, a lot of them, like Minnesota has really archaic beer laws. So mm -hmm. you have to buy like growlers and a yeah. 25 ounce growler. Or you can't, like a lot of them don't sell. Um, beer on site. On site. Mm. Yeah, they they'll sell, figure you know, it out. They, it's, it's draft on site. We're going to jump into the next stout again. This is called Morning Delight. It is a uh, stout brewed with maple syrup and coffee in it. <laughs> Doggone it. it. It smells pretty good. I mean, not, not, as, not as heavy as the other one, I think. So, I don't know. Let's, let's, uh, it smells a little, little better open, you know, out of the bottle. But uh, Big bottle, huh? Bottle doesn't it give it much. Big, uh, doesn't give it much smell. That last mm. one was the nose on it was yeah incredible. the nose on the fresh batch the s'mores and it tasted so super it's much better in, yeah in, out of the in bottle in the open uh, yeah. yeah ooh that doesn't smell good at all <laughs> from inside the bottle might be the wax who yeah. knows so this is uh, this morning delight is uh, it's a big imperial style like Charlie said comes in at twelve percent uh, you know what it's good. Maple syrup and vanilla. It's good. Is the, uh, Josh it is says the, coffee on it. Josh maple syrup and shot. coffee. Oh, is it? Yeah. It says... Uh, Isn't Josh the big maple syrup guy? I think he is. He's a pancake flipping fool is what he is. It's coffee and maple syrup. Coffee, coffee and... It is, yeah. Uh, stout brewed with maple mm. syrup and coffee. I don't know why it says uh, maple syrup and vanilla, but there's... It, yeah, there could it's be some coffee. vanilla in it. Oh. I don't see I that. But definitely tastes of coffee. Yeah, no, there's no... Uh, I taste the maple the, syrup, that's for sure. The bottle does not smell the same as the glass. No, it's better in the open glass. Mm. Oh, man. It's got a lot of coffee on there, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's rich on the Morning coffee. Morning delight. It's good. The old coffee I stuff. like it. I'm, I'm, nice I'm, velvety head on there. Hey, wait a minute. I didn't get that. Mm. You didn't pour Big old... Oh, pour man, that's a lot of coffee. I, you know what? I, I think it's great. Yeah, it's, that's a good beer, though. I mean, it's there's not as much maple syrup on it. Like, mm -hmm. I... I think, you know, a lot of, like, I like just a kiss of maple syrup, which this you have is, on there. It's like is, coffee. Yeah, kiss at the end. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. you get the coffee, a lot of coffee on the like, front, yeah. right? Like that that maple syrup on the mm. back end. It's sweet. It's phenomenal. Mm. But it's not like, you know, maple syrupy all the way through. Like, I think a lot of, like. Yeah. I think that's where the coffee knocks it down a bit. Wow, that's really good. I'd take it. wonder what coffee they used. Yeah, that would be an interesting fact. I mean, is it Mostra? Did they go down to Is it so. Modern Times? Go down to Starbucks? Dunkin' Donuts. Phil's. <laughs> I don't know. Folders. It's doggone coffee is what it is. It's it's good. I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna give it an okay. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. You would uh yeah, it was all right. What are what are we gonna pick for our best one of the night? Mm. Yeah, what are you guys going with? I'm gonna wait till you two characters make your decision because I'm gonna blow your minds. Yeah, what do you think, Steve? Um the hazy IPA on tap. The King Sue. If was, I had to drink one, all yeah. If you had to go yeah, one again, yeah, yeah. but I think between the two stouts, I like the s'mores pastry style yeah. more. And um, I think uh, I think I'm gonna go the King Sue as well. It tastes phenomenal. The I think you know of the stout. So I would break it up into into two like two segments, right? Stouts and then uh, um, okay, and other beers. That's so that I think works. I, I would go the King Sue, and I think I'd go the s'mores as well. Because if you look at like the the difference between those. Uh, those cans. So this one, you know, the maple syrup is great, but I think like the like the viscosity, they were both like a thick pastry stout, right? Yeah. Which I really like. I don't think it was the, pastry enough on the uh, on this over. If they put thicker. vanilla in there, that might have been it. Sure. Yeah. No, it's a great. I, I think that paste the the smart. If you look at like the the breakdown of the cost between these beers, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like this this one yeah, was probably more, ten more. times oh, wow. more than this one was. Yeah. So the if you look at that car, like the the that's a great beer. Like I don't know that that fits the. You have to win a lottery. You have to be there a specific uh, weekend. Yeah, I would have transferred from one to the other. I would have rather had that in a big bottle like that. Yeah, than in a can. But I know I can go down there and get a can tomorrow morning. It's great. No, it's. I mean, it's super good. Like the morning delight is. That mm. s'mores is. Uh, mm. D we, haven't, we haven't done two delicious. stouts in a row since Stout Fest. Though. We haven't. It's we will though. Don't you worry. I know, but it's it's interesting. And we got our we got our all quarter show lined up, right? I thought we already did that. No, we just we ain't got it lined up. No, sir. We're going to though. We can. We're not afraid. Mm. I'm uh, I'm going to say exactly what Chris said. The King Su and the s'mores. Oh, we're on agreement. Out. Yeah. All three of us. What? All three of us. What? 
I know, I'm blowing your mind. Buy some lottery tickets, folks. Exactly, full moon. It is a full moon. <laughs> <laughs> he turns into a beer wolf. Right. No, that was uh, that was good though. But that top was... of glass, four super solid beers. Absolutely. I think you know from like if you look at you know from from the regulars to like their their more limited stuff like that morning delight, and and in between right like things that I mean all of them just phenomenal beers. So four really really good beers. Super impressed with that s'more though. Yeah. That was really Especially good. if it's a, a normal release sort of can thing. Yeah. It's like, wow, well, they, they're handing it. them out for free practically. <laughs> giving them, just giving them away. Yeah. That's a, I think it's a $5 can. <laughs> yeah, Seriously. there you go. Yeah, they're, they're, the way they do their, uh, you know, and a lot of people like in the, in the, in beer releases, people talk about like, um, well, we were at, um, Mostra, the Mostra event, and, uh, the, the guy was talking about people charging secondary, uh, yeah. prices for their releases. And, you know, the, the, that's certainly what, like, Toppling Goliath, I think, uh, when you look at their Morning Delight or you look at, like, their uh, their Assassin, like, Assassin is, like, $125 a bottle. More it's than like, that, isn't it? You have to, I think it's, you know, when you win, when you win mm-hmm. your chance to buy one, and they just had KDBS. Yeah, but the aftermarket is more. Sure, yeah, that spins out of control, but you have to spend. And when you think about it, like, if that bottle sells for, like, six $700 a bottle, like, somebody had to, like, if, if you win it in San Diego, like, you got to fly to Minneapolis, you have to rent a car, you have to drive to Decorah, mm-hmm. you got to get back to Minneapolis, right? Like, so, I mean, it's, like, there's a cost built into that, you know? Yeah. Like, the, uh, like, it's $250, like, uh, I don't know, I don't know what the, the price is, but it's somebody's time, it's, it's a weekend yeah. for yeah. somebody. They get to enjoy the experience, but... Yeah. They, uh, I mean, I think, you know, a lot of those guys think in, in process of like, hey, if I can have a free weekend or whatever, you know, chisel away at some of the costs there, that'd be worth it. I mean, I guess I can kind of see it, but. No, that, it's awesome. That's, some of those, this is a good pick here, these four. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Especially like that one on tap. I don't know where that came from, but it's mm. delicious. Well, hopefully there's more where that came yeah. from. Only five gallons. Mm-hmm. All righty. Well, on that, on that note, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Here we are another week. Cheers. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only, and compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.